Okay, so this exercise is kind of a fun one. What we're going to do is we're going to make uh, this baby face merge with this pair. So we're going to end up with a pair that has a face. And the way we're going to do it is not through erasing. It's through doing something called masking. And what masking lets you do is it lets you hide and reveal layers by painting. And you paint with black and white paint and a normal paintbrush. Black paint will remove the layer. White paint will put the layer back. Um, so if you hide the little baby, you'll see that you've got a pair underneath. And what we're going to do is put a mask on the top layer. And the masks are down at the bottom of the layer panel. It looks like kind of like a rectangle with a circle in it. Do you guys see where I am down here? Yeah. Rectangle with a circle. So click that, and you'll see a white box next to your baby face. Now that box right now, if you can imagine, is full of white paint. And white paint shows the layer. Black paint hides the layer. So we're going to be painting, and as we paint, you can kind of watch this little panel, and you'll see that it, it gets black on it as you're painting. Uh, one thing to know is that it's possible to select the mask, and it's also possible to select the baby. So go ahead and click the baby just so you can see what happens. So it bounces over. So you don't want the baby to be selected when you're painting with the black or white paint because you're going to be painting that directly on the photo, uh, destroying the photo. So be sure that you're on the mask. Later on in this, we'll change the baby's <coughs> color a bit. And in that case, we're going to go on to the, ba the baby photo so that we can change color. But then we're going to have to go back before we start painting. OK, so with the baby, not the baby, but the mask selected, let's go and choose the paintbrush. And we've been using the color replacement tool the tool we're going to use is the very top one in the same section. So that's the fourth tool down on the right. So hold it down so you can, you know, it pops up again. Choose the top tool, the brush tool. And you don't want the, br the art history brush. You don't want any other tool except for this one, the brush right now. So we're also going to use a really soft brush. So the, on the hardness scale, move it all the way down to zero or choose one of these fuzzy round brushes. Now when we start to work on the details of the baby's face, we're going to lower the opacity and the flow. But to get the background off, I recommend putting it at 100 so you can work quickly. And then the default black and white paint is, are the two little tiny squares at the, towards the bottom of your toolbar. You guys see where those are? So go ahead and click so that your squares show white and black. And just know that these arrows let you flip them back and forth. So you can flip back and forth quite easily. And you'll be doing that because, you know, as you're painting, if you remove too much, you'll flip back and put white on top. But to remove the baby layer, we're going to put black on top. And then you can go ahead and use a big brush. So remember, your bracket keys will let you make the brush bigger. Brackets are next to the P key. So I'm using the right bracket. And then I'm going to pretty quickly remove the background. And this looks like I'm painting with white. I'm not. I'm painting with black. But the pear is on a white background. So that's what it's revealing. You guys can kind of see the pear. Go ahead and do that on your baby. And just remove all those pieces, like so. And then you can also get rid of the hat piece. And you know you can try flipping it back. So flip it to white and kind of watch what that does. Notice how that puts the baby layer back. Flip it to black and it removes. <coughs> and then check out your mask in your layer panel and notice you can see all that black that you've painted. Right? So if you ever forget 
how do I do it? Just check that out and you know just be aware white shows black hides. Okay, so next thing we're going to change the color of the baby's face so that it's a little bit more yellowish greenish. We're going to click off the mask selection and we're going to click onto the baby in the layer panel right here. Then we're going to go to image adjustments and we're going to choose color balance. And we're going to raise up the yellow a bit so his face goes more yellowy. And we're going to raise up the green, too. To go more yellowy green. And, you know, if you go really, really, really far over, you can do that. But do be aware your eyes are going to go kind of greenish. <laughs> and the whites will be greenish. You know, so I wouldn't maybe go all the way across, but try to get him so that he's more greenish cast as opposed to that pink that he was. And the options here, you can choose highlights and shadows, so you could do different sections if you wanted. Uh, mid -tone, I'm just mainly going for mid-tones because I'm just trying to get the skin as opposed to the whites of the eyes or the dark part of the blue on his eyes. And then I'll go ahead and say OK. You can kind of check preview on and off too, just to kind of see the difference. See how pink he used to be? And then now he's we've lost that. All right, now we're going to click back to the mask before we do any painting. If we start to paint with black, you know, without clicking, we're going to put that straight on the baby's face, which we don't want. So we were painting at 100% opacity and flow to get rid of the background. Now we're going to lower that a lot. I would even go lower than 50. I do like 30-ish, 40-ish for both opacity and flow. And that's just going to allow you to paint more slowly. If you're at 100%, it's hard to blend. You can't really do it. Now, one option, too, if you're in swatches, you can also choose the grays that are up here. You know, There's a whole range of light to dark gray. I don't tend to like to work that way. I like to just adjust the opacity and flow, which does the same thing. It paints lighter. Um, but that is an option, and some people like that. So you could try that out, too, if you want to. You know, If you wanted to just take off a little bit, then you'd probably choose a lighter gray. If you wanted to take off more, you'd choose a darker gray. All right, now brush size, you're going to drop your brush size. And for the cheeks, you can have a fairly big brush. But when you go to do the other features, you want a smaller brush because you're going to try to avoid the shadows and the creases, the little creases where his face is wrinkled, you know, by his nose, around his nostrils, on his little cheeks, where, you know, by his mouth. You don't want to paint those completely off because it's going to make his face look too flat. And we actually want his face to look like it's kind of protruding. So, you know, just go small as you get to those areas. So chin, or I mean the forehead, I can take a whole bunch off. Cheeks. Now I'm going to go smaller as I get to more, you know, refined features. I'll go through here, get the tip of his nose. And then I'll go even smaller just to get on his nostrils. And I would even maybe go so small that like if I wanted the little wrinkles around his eyes, I'd go real small brush so that I can just get the light part of those wrinkles. And you just go over it so that you're showing the texture of that pair. Because, you know, we really want the viewer to believe that it's the pair that has this face. So we need to hide all the baby's skin as much as we can. I'd probably hide his little, his little uh, eyebrows, too. So just go through and refine this little guy. And remember, if you take, if you take too much off at all, just flip it so that you get white back on top. And then you can put it back the joy of masking. We could theoretically do this with erasing lightly, but if we messed up, we couldn't fix it.
you know, we basically have ruined it. Do so. you Yeah, I did. I took my eyebrows off just because I didn't think the pear would have hair. But, you know, pears don't have eyes either. So it's up to you. Do what you want. So when we do our mythological creatures, you guys are going to be masking two creatures together, right? So this is kind of in preparation. All these exercises we're doing right now are in preparation for that project. All this stuff will apply even though we'll use it a bit differently and that we'll be masking two animals as opposed to, you know, a baby and a pair. So once you're done, then of course you can save it, last name, first name, EX8, and turn it in. Just try to get all that baby skin hidden. Little brush for the little pieces. If you take too much off, you know, you could always kind of go back, flip it to white, and just try to get some of those shadows back as you need to. Um, but that's really the end of that one.